Question 1. The number of bees leaving a hive was observed and recorded over 14 days at different times of the day. Which Pearson's correlation coefficient best describes the observations? To help visualise the strength and the direction of the correlation between the number of bees and the time of day, I'm going to draw a line of fit by eye through the points on this scatter plot. I'm going to draw this line of fit in such a way so as to minimise the average distance as best as possible between all the points and the line of fit itself. So roughly half the points should be above the line and half the points should be below the line. And the distance between each of these points and the line itself should be as small as possible. Now it's not a line of best fit, it's just a line of fit. And it's done by eye, so it's not going to be 100% accurate. But it can be close enough in order to give us a visual reference to the direction and the strength of the correlation. Now looking at this line of fit, we can see that we have a positive correlation since it has a positive gradient between the number of bees and the time of day. And looking at the distance between the points and the line itself, we can see that the points are reasonably close to the line, which indicates a reasonably strong correlation. So we have a strong positive correlation between the number of bees and the time of day as indicated by this line of fit and the closeness of the points to this line of fit. Looking at the responses, the best response will be option D, 0 0.8.